Welcome back to another video from Reef Drama. Today we're going to have an update on the SPS corals that I bought from Prestige Reef the other week. Um, now I'm going to try and do some underwater footage but I don't think it's going to look very good. I think they're pretty much dead um, but we'll have a look anyway. Uh, I really want to sort of try and work out whether it is anything to do with the light. So I've got a Luminaire V2 900 behind me hanging off the bracket um, and I've got this piece of 22mm pipe that I'm going to strap my Senai to uh, and then we're going to actually put that in and sort of see what kind of par meter readings that we get from the light itself. Um, I think it's mostly to do with the Angel, probably everybody would agree, uh, just won't be able to keep S uh, SPS um, corals in this tank, it's mostly just going to have to be soft. But anyway, we'll have an update, we'll have a little look uh, and see where it takes us. Um, now, if you can also just put a comment in the uh, section below, I've got a new rig, I've got a new light as well, just want to sort of see what your thoughts are uh, on the light. Is it too bright, not bright enough? Is it better, is it worse? Than, you know my previous videos this is the first one with this new rig and light uh, so hopefully it's better obviously I want to try and make the viewing aspect uh, better for, for everybody that's watching so um, this is one of the things that I've started to do now is get that light on um, but without further ado let's finish it here let's get in to the actual close-up of the corals and then we'll do the Senai and the palm meter readings stay tuned catch you in a minute all right, so this one here was the Alcorn Montipora. Um, as you can see, it's completely gone. Unfortunately, it's not focusing very well. Seems to like focusing on that finger coral, but I guess these are, are quite small. Um, coming on over to what used to be the red Digitata Montipora. Again, that was the one that broke off, uh, and I sort of dug uh, what snapped off into the uh, milliput, um, and there's now nothing left because I think Piney's knocked that completely clean off now somewhere. And this one was the Rainbow Montipora. Again, just absolutely no polyp showing whatsoever. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly overlay a photo of what they looked like when I first got them in the frag rack, sitting in the uh, bottom of the tank, sort of slowly acclimating up for the light. Um, but yeah, just coming back to these again now. And um, I think the only thing for these is just to basically take them out. Um, there really is nothing left. Uh, of these but let me know what you think and uh, what we'll do now is we're going to have a look at the par meter readings from the light okay so this is just below the water surface underneath directly underneath the right hand side white led light um, slowly coming down to about halfway in the tank So it's at a reading of about 200, 220. So that's dropped from about 360, 380 from the surface. And then we're coming down a little bit further. I'm now exactly level with the SPS coral. And we're now, what's that, 150, 160 averaging. 150. Yeah, 150, 160. And then if we come all the way down to the sand, again, still below that white light on the right hand side, we're now coming down to 77, 70, 80. Somewhere between 70, 80. Well, there we have it. Uh, maybe that's proof in the pudding, I'm not too sure, but please leave your comments down in the comment section below. You've seen the corals close up, you've now seen the par readings that we're getting from this V2 Illuminaire and I just don't think it's it's really doing what it's supposed to be doing, that light. Um, you know, as I say, it is a 900 over a four foot wide tank. Should I have the 1200? Uh, should I completely change it and go with something completely different? You know, I don't know. Uh, so as I say, please let me know what you think in, uh, in the comment section below and uh, we'll see if we can get to the bottom of this. I think for now, I'm just gonna obviously stick with soft corals, um, 
probably take these SPS out now because as I say I just don't think they're going to do anything um, from where they are at the moment you can see the algae sort of all growing all over it um, so I'll probably be whipping those out in the next week or so um, but I'll wait until I see you know some comments from you guys uh, and see what your, your thoughts are. Do I leave them in? Do I take them out? Do I get a new light? Do I leave it? You know, whatever. So, but there we go. Um, I think that's going to wrap up another video uh, of uh, see you see now with regards to the corals, where we're at. Um, and if you've enjoyed the video, then please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please also hit the like button. Um, it's the subscribe button, sorry I should say, hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome, uh, and uh, hit that bell notification as well. So every time I upload a new video, you'll also be notified of that. Um, so from Piney and myself, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. I don't know why I said ciao. Is it cold? Is it cold?